What's up guys, I'm Arsene from RossPartech.com. How you guys doing? I'm doing well. Hopefully you guys are doing well too. Now this is going to be an exciting video because in this video, we're going to water cool a Raspberry Pi Zero. You guys are probably thinking this is overkill. You do not need to water cool a Raspberry Pi Zero. But I'm here to tell you guys, I think it's cool. And if at least one of you guys think it's cool, then it's totally worth it. Now this is going to be video one of two. And in part two, we're going to test this whole thing out. Hopefully you guys like this video. So let's get started. All right guys, so this is everything we're going to use to water cool our Raspberry Pi Zero. This is a bit overkill, isn't it? But you know, this is fun. I enjoy doing this. So if you guys enjoy watching me do this, then all this is worth it. A lot of you guys are gonna judge me like, oh, this is stupid, you shouldn't do it. You're stupid, I'm unsubscribing. I'm gonna unsubscribe, you're stupid. But if, if you click on this video, that means you like this type of video. So then the whole point of this video is not stupid. I like it, if you like it. If only one person enjoyed the video, then all this was worth it. So I'm gonna do it. If you're a hater, just don't watch the video. Don't leave a comment, we don't care. Just don't watch the video. All right, so first off, we're gonna talk about a Raspberry Pi Zero. This is the Raspberry Pi Zero right here. I'm not gonna go into the specs. I will talk more about the specs later on. Now this here is the Copper One Edition. This is a, this is the water block that we're gonna use to cool our Raspberry Pi Zero. You're gonna use this thermal transfer pad, stick it on the bottom of our chip here. It's gonna go right on top of our Raspberry Pi Zero. So that's how the whole heat transfer thing is gonna work. Now these are some adapters that I'm gonna try out. This one here turns USB into Cat5. I'm gonna see if that even works. This adapter turns like male into female email that I could connect everything else. So two adapters that I got in the local hardware store. I don't know if they work. They were like really cheap, like two, three dollars each. And I will try them out. This here is going to power our Raspberry Pi. It's a powered USB hub and, and we're going to be able to use multiple connections to connect to the Raspberry Pi Zero. I want to test it out. I use this one in a lot of my builds, like at least 10 of my builds I've used this and uh, it's pretty cheap. I think I got it for like 25 or $21. I think it's called Satechi or Sateki. If I pronounce it wrong, correct me. And it's one of the most recommended ones they have on the site. Again, it's like $21 powered USB hub. So you can't go wrong with that. All right, so this is the radiator that we're going to use in the build. It's from EK. It's the LC Solution Coolstream PE. I use the same one on my water-cooled Xbox One. I like this so much I brought a new one for this project. These are some just random fittings that I might or might not use in a build. I had a lot of these just laying around from other projects. Some of them might go in, some might not. I'm gonna try to stick with the black color scheme and just use the black fittings here. These are some of the fittings I got from Borrow, 3 8 I think. Not all of these are gonna be in the build. Now these are definitely gonna be in the build. These are the splitters that I use to split the big cable into the small cable. I'll show you guys how that works later. Again, we have this block. It's a small cable that connects to this. That cable is gonna connect to here and it's gonna turn it into a big cable or then convert it into one of these big fittings here. And I'll explain how that whole thing works later on. And this is some of the tubing we're gonna use. This is the big tubing that we're gonna use and this is the smaller tubing we're gonna use. Again, the smaller tubing connects to this. The bigger tube is for the bigger fittings. Most of it's big fittings. The only time we use the small fittings is when we wanna convert the small tube into big tube. So again, I'll show you how that whole thing works out. I've used it a lot in the past. I've water cooled a Raspberry Pi 3. I've water cooled a Latin Panda. I've water cooled a lot of things. I've water cooled an Xbox One S and I will continue to water cool things even though most of it is overkill. I enjoy it. If you enjoy it, then the whole thing again is worth it. Back here, this is some of the coolant that I might use. I will probably use the green one. I like the green one better, but the red one looks pretty cool. I've used all of them in previous builds and they're, they're all UV colored. So one's a UV red, the other one's a UV green. They're freaking amazing. I think they look cool and they're gonna look great in this project. All right guys, right down here, this is the water block and pump I'm gonna use in this build. This is from Alpha Cool. This is DC-LT pump, DC-LT reservoir. It's one of the smallest pump res combos you can buy. I think it's cool. It's gonna fit perfectly for this build. I don't, I have other uh, res pump combos, but they're too big. There's no purpose for me to use them in this build. I got this a while back. I'm talking like maybe six, seven months ago. I had sitting in my closet for a while. I figured why not use it in this build? That's the res pump combo we will be using in today's build. All right, so this is the converter that will convert the micro HDMI into regular HDMI so we can connect this to a monitor. Again, everything on our Raspberry Pi Zero is micro. It doesn't have a full size HDMI port. It doesn't have a full size USB port. Everything is micro. And over here on the right, I have some of the micro USB to USB cables we'll be using. I have a lot of these. I I've used these a lot. They're, they're very strong cables. They're expensive, but they're very strong. I have like maybe eight of them, I think. And I always use them because they're really reliable. I don't have to worry about breaking them. And they look pretty cool. Like, you know, they're sleeve. I've red and I have blue. And finally here, this is the Pico power supply. This is what's gonna power our like pump res combo and our 
binary thing. It's not gonna power our Raspberry Pi, but it will power the pump rest combo. I've been using this Pico power supply for so long. This is the world's, I think, smallest power supply. It's a regular ATX power supply that you could connect to most builds. I think it's uh, 450 watt, if I'm not mistaken, or it might be 250 watt. I have to look into it. I will leave a link to everything that I show you in the description. I use this a lot in my builds, especially my Xbox One S build, my all my like water cooled Raspberry Pi builds. I, I highly recommend it. I think it's like a hundred and something dollars. And this cable here, it doesn't come with the Pico power supply. What this does do, you connect this to this here. This right here you can use as an on off switch. When you first plug stuff into the Pico power supply, it, it doesn't have an on off switch. So I think it just turns it on automatically. But this here is an on off switch. So again, this cable comes in handy for builds. Let's put this together. So the first thing we're gonna do is screw the reservoir on top of the Plexi top here. Pretty simple. Now that that's done, as you can see, screwed right in. It's the plexi top, and this is the rest. It's got a cap here if you want to fill it up. I like this cap. Now the final step is to screw in the pump. On the bottom here, there's a place for the pump. You want to fit this part like this, and there are holes on the plexi top, and there are holes on the pump. You want to align the holes here. Once you align those holes, take these screws, place them on top like so. Place the other screw on the other side. I have it on standby because I tested the screws out earlier. Pretty much it. Everything is assembled, as you can see. The world's smallest pump, I think. I might be wrong, but I think this is like the world's smallest pump res combo. It looks cool, it's plexi. You're gonna be able to see all the fluid in the plexi plate and in the res right here. And this pump should be sufficient enough to cool our Raspberry Pi Zero. All right, so now the next step, what I wanna do is I wanna place the water block on top of our CPU here. Pretty simple, I got our water block. This is the copper one edition. And we're gonna use this thermal adhesive tape that fits perfectly under this copper edition one. This is also from Alpha Cool. Let's just open this up. All right, so I think that's as good as we're gonna get it, so. Now, now let's set everything else up. All right, so I placed out all the parts exactly the way I want this to run. I cut all the tubes to my desired length. And I forgot to show you guys one thing. This is a plug right here. And this plug goes on top of this splitter. I already put uh, four of them there. It's a five splitter here. And this splits the small cable into the big cable. So I'll leave a link to this plug in the description. I put all the fittings where they belong. I put all the plugs where they belong. Again, I cut everything to my desired length and this is how the whole thing is gonna run. So I'm gonna explain to you guys how the whole thing is gonna run from the beginning. Right out of the radiator here, I have this fitting, which goes into this big cable, which goes into another fitting, which goes into the res pump combo. Res pump combo here, fitting, little cable, goes into this splitter here with another fitting and a plug in the back which converts the big cable into small cable, which would be this cable here. This cable is gonna to connect to our Raspberry Pi Zero, then come out the other side of the block, which is gonna to connect to here, convert this back into the big cable. Then the big cable is gonna to connect to this fitting, connect to this tube back into our radiator. So that's how the whole loop is gonna work. Pretty simple. Right, guys so this is the entire loop here as you can see i'm pretty much done now there's a fitting going here going to this tube which goes into the rest pump here the rest pump has a fitting out which goes into this here this is the splitter that converts this big cable into the small cable i plugged it off here i plugged off four of the ports so now i only have one of these ports i connected this small cable which goes into here this is the water block we're using for our raspberry pi zero it, it comes out through here goes back into one of these splitters i have capped it off this side I put in a fitting this way, it converts it back into this big cable. Now this big cable puts it back into radiator, then our radiator brings it back. That's how the whole loop works. Pretty simple, right? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill it up with our coolant. I'm using this UV 
coolant here it's green i use this in my xbox one s build i love it i love green green is my favorite color so i will be using this green so now what i'm gonna do is just take out the top here i have the pico power supply connected to our res pump combo once i press this button the res pump combo should turn on and cycle the liquid so let's first fill it up with liquid Right, guys so this is pretty much it for this video all the links to all the parts that i used in this video will be in the description there will be a part two where we will test everything out i'm gonna run benchmarks i will try to overclock it i'll compare it to other raspberry pis and we're gonna compare it to a raspberry pi zero that does not have any water cooling at all so we could test out its performance and there will be overclocks. So again, this is pretty much it. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmoreTech.com and thank you guys for watching.